Okay, Spice Miner Machine. I wondered about this in Dune 1. How does the Spice Miner actually mine things? Well, first thing to notice is the design is different this time. Before, there were these like blocky square things, you remember, in part one? Oh, and so here, this is a Harkonnen Miner. And the oh, other one okay. was a planet side miner that just belongs to the planet. Okay. I guess. Or maybe these are version twos, maybe? I don't know. Version twos, okay. Okay, let's watch what how it interacts with the ground. Okay. So the first thing, oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, first thing has got these pointy boys and they have treads to walk around and poke, 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 poke on the ground. All right, but okay. well, that's just the front. So let's follow along to the underside. And as the okay. are crawling through, he drew back. So you get these these guys that are stomp, 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 smash, smash, smash. Yep. And I think that is it. Yep, that's it. So this is how the spice miner works. Mm -hmm. um, this It must be because this is the only way that it interacts mm -hmm. with the ground. And so it just punches the ground. And I guess whatever floats up is spice. So it's it's some type of like mass dependent. Just it's just like when you when you what is it pen for gold? You like the the gold is super dense. So you mm -hmm. shake the water and then the lighter dirts and rocks float off to the side. So here, and so, and so you filter and you collect the gold. Here, mm -hmm. I guess the spice is light and floaty. So you punch mm -hmm. the ground and then the spice floats up and you vacuum it. Um, but that's terrible. <laughs> that's that's absolutely terrible in terms of throughput. You have this gigantic machine that like that rolls along the desert and you just punch, 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 punch the surface. Like like scoop, scoop, scoop the sand, filter it through the machine. You can get not only the surface of the sand, you can get whatever many meters deep into the ground and then just then just process it through. Like this is super inefficient. So I agree. But what if the spice is only on the surface layers? And so scooping would just get you a bunch of extraneous sand, whereas maybe the spice is on this like couple centimeter thick layer on top. So you just want to stir that up? So I, I but, would still just scoop the couple. I would scoop, in, if it's five centimeters, I would scoop 10 centimeters and just filter it from right. there. <laughs> so I wouldn't pound the ground because now I'm pushing that layer further into the ground. I want to I want a scoop. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. I want some kind of scooping action. Yeah. So even if it's uh, even if I want even if spice is deep in the sand, I want a big scoop. I want a big. I, I want a forward scoop that drives in and then and then sand falls on top and then I and then it goes through a conveyor belt inside my machine, poops out the back, right. just pure sand. And, and let's say I need to aerosolize it for some reason. I need to like kick it into the air. Well, I still scoop. Then I have some agitator you know or something it, to kick it into the air. I would do a rolling tumbler just like a cement machine. So you see those like cement machines, like the cement trucks. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, just roll it and tumble it, and if it's light and particly, it'll float up, and then you can vacuum it. Anything that's heavy just gets pushed out it's the butt. Filtered. Yeah, so you uh, could like machine. Yeah, you could like create filtering mechanisms, so you know what you know what the spice is, and you know what yep. what it is. You know the densities and other of other rocks and gravel and different things, yep. which you create a filtering mechanism within the tumbler. Yeah, and still don't, if anything you have floats to up like spice, you put a little water spray on it and it captures it. Mm -hmm. Nothing left off of the atmosphere. But I think the important thing you're saying is you got to scoop. Like, scoop. I don't see why you wouldn't scoop. I don't see why you would punch. I don't see why you would punch the ground like this and get a little bit of mist coming off. Mm -hmm. like. It's either big. I mean, you want to dial in the size of the scoop. Could be big yeah, scoops, could sure. be small scoops. But, sure. Or it could be a front scoop where you're coming in, grabbing it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you're still scooping. Scoop. So I, oh, how could we make this work? Why would you punch the ground? Maybe it's, it has to be activated with percussion. But then, it, then it's percussion and then scoop. You hit it. You hit it. Or you first. you collected everything and then you percussion it inside in your factory in the city. That's right. You're in a dangerous location here. Yep. So filtration might fast not. Grab. I, I want a fast grab. Okay, so you want a fast grab and a fast filtration, but not a full filtration. Yeah. You don't want to bring a bunch of, you don't want a bunch of heavy chemistry. stuff to come with you. It's still a scoop. Weird. But Weird. I think we've answered the question about how the spice miners work. They punch the sand and then a little bit of spice comes up and they suck it up, I guess. Mm-hmm.
Hmm. I mean, it must be because this is the only way, this is the only two ways that the spice miners interact with the ground. There's the punchy boys and then the needle guys. I mean, unless there's something we don't see. But we, we, see, we see on the, they go under. We see, do we see the back? We see so that's, I guess this is one side. It's possible that it's like farther behind. Like have we seen every, oh, I think this is the back. Cause I don't see any needle boys. Needle boys are in the front. Yeah. Um, and then these punchies are in the back. I guess is could there be a third section that we're not seeing there? I mean, maybe, but maybe as what is shown to us in the movie, I think this is it. Yeah. yeah. There's some like side action there. Maybe it's suction. Maybe they're pulling the sand up. Ah, they punch down there, little vacuum. But yeah, then you just suck scoop. it up. Just scoop. The scoop is just so much simpler. And it's not like it's not like a gosh, it's not one of these scoops. It's a mm -hmm. forward scoop. So as you go forward, it just yeah. everything in front of you just funnels in. I guess if No, scoop is the way to go. Scoop is the way Why to would go, you suction? Baby. That's just You haven't you got you'd have to have pump infrastructure, you'd have to have cleaning scoop. You know, even if it's like dirty and grimy and nasty, it's 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 still gonna work. It's, it gets the throughput. I want to collect right. a lot of stuff fast. Right. With low maintenance requirements, and uh, I want rapid turnaround yep. after go back, come, come out, go back, come out, go back. I want rapid. So I want simple. So I want scoop. <laughs> if I was the emperor, who would I put in charge of Arrakis? I would put in charge someone who has a lot of military might because they need to protect it. Mm -hmm. And then whose right-hand man is an engineer. Seriously. Engineer, operations, good. somebody like that. Right. And because operations is a problem as well. What are we doing? We've got a dangerous area with Fremen popping out of the ground. Why are we on foot? Why are we on let's, foot? Let's stay, get, get high on the roof and scan mm -hmm. with your, your rifle. What are we That's doing right. on the ground? We're just going to die. That's, how you, can we help? We've seen in this movie and also the first movie, like someone could be out here with a laser beam and these mm -hmm. foot soldiers have no way are they going to be able to interact with them. They're going to spend, they're going to spend like three, five minutes running up mm -hmm. the sand dune to get to the laser guy. It's too late. It's too late. And, and if we want to get back onto the, the tracked machine, the spice miner. We've got to go up this inconvenient ladder or it's it's one at a time ladder. Let's let's not leave the safety of the big machine. That's right. I think if you want to defend it, you're either up high in the helicopters, Dragonfly helicopters, in the spotters, or on the roof. Mm -hmm. Or you could have a deployable team in the, the crawler, but only deploy them when needed. You keep them in there nice and safe. Maybe they're never deployed on a particular outing. Gosh, why don't you just have a pillbox on top where they can... They can just stand on top and then be armored up in the side of the box and then pew, pew, pew outside little ports. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think you would, you might want, you might want the option to deploy, but it might not be very often. Right. Stay inside. Stay inside. Pillbox. I don't get it. Also, the These... Fremen have this mind tech. It's. Okay. Pops out of the earth. Come on! It's like magnetically attracted to it or something. I guess so. Yeah. Also, so the first question is, where are Fremen getting this? Like Fremen yes. are not a tech people. Like where are I they haven't building? seen. Yeah, I haven't seen a factory. I haven't seen, you know, an institute of engineering. I haven't seen any of that. Where this is manufactured. Are they buying this right. from off world. I think. I think that means they're buying this from off world. Because how else can they get this? So that means it has to be smuggled in because it's not going to be an official sale. Hmm. Which Gurney Alec, so Paul's previous teacher, says that he's a smuggler. And I think this particular mm -hmm. spice miner is a smuggling spice miner, I think. Uh, but this causes so many problems. Like you got to, you got to, okay, so you got to, you got to buy it. So you got a financial transaction, which yeah. what are you going to transact in? I don't know. Then, what you the gotta, you gotta, then you got to fly it down. You got yep. this heavy thing. You gotta you gotta get it off the smuggling device, the smuggling ship, store it somewhere, mm -hmm. spread it out for deployment to all the different people. Like this is a huge operation, 
Plus, it, you got it. There's probably you requirements ready? about storage because this is an explosive. Do you see any handles? No, the Fremen are carrying this by hand, by grip strength. <laughs> They're carrying this heavy thing across the sand, but just by fingertips. Wait, okay, so let's say there is a casing for transport, okay, that you which means they looking? disposed okay. of it. They disposed of it during transport, which means waste. the desert is littered with these things. That's right. Also, I'm just this, not seeing this... the organizational structures for the Fremen to even deploy something this advanced. So I've seen it. They're too disorganized to be able to do this. Yeah. That's not even talking about how it works. It's like metal detector. Super cool though. Super cool. Super cool. Super cool. Super cool.